I respect players who get dunked on. I respect them because he was trying to know, take a charge. No. What if Michael Porter Jr. ended Montrez Harrell? What if he's just never the same after he got cracked on in the playoffs in devastating fashion? Looks over and sees Michael Porter Sr. You know, with his arms folded in the stand. What if? What if? What if Montrez Harrell is never the same after Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> demolished him <laughs> with that dunk. That would be a shame. Was... <laughs> hey, I'm not so sure. Somebody should chronicle this. Uh, the guys that have gotten dunked on in spectacular fashion and what happened afterwards. I, I'm i not sure Brandon Knight was ever the same after the whole chalk outline uh, DeAndre Jordan <laughs> dunk. I mean, Brandon Knight also had injuries, but I know, I, know. I, I, res- I respect players who get dunked on. I respect them because he was trying to take a charge. No, if I respect you, if you're contesting it, it, yeah, yeah. and I know, I know, I know. If you contest the shot, yes, that wasn't a contest. That was, I know. I respect the guys who contest the shot on a dunk attempt, try to block it. I know we like laugh at them on social media when they do. Oh, that I, but that that to me shows real heart as a player. If you're willing to put yourself out there, I I, I have the utmost respect for those guys. Absolutely. Talking about you, Aaron Baines, talking about you, Rudy Gobert. That's right. (laughs) I got no problem. That's great. What you, what you, what you can't do is the mantras stand there like an usher while you get (laughs) nuts in your face. That can't be. Let's, let's hit that real quick. I tweeted the other week that I would be cool with, getting rid of the charge and and because (laughs) i here's the thing i'm not saying outright just get rid of it like totally because that's unfair there it's unfair to the defense takes away another thing that they can do to when offense is already so potent someone texted me uh, from a team after i tweeted that and he's like the way to do it is with the charge if a guy leaves his feet then you cannot just like stand there like an usher like you're saying if he leaves his feet, you have to contest the shot, make a basketball play. If a guy's running straight forward and it's like middle of the floor, yeah, like a charge is very legitimate. That happens, and right. it's a good play on the defense. It's just about those plays near the rim. I think you could see more defense. You might see more defense if guys don't have that block, you know, the block stance to go into. Because you're going to see more guys feel like they have oh, to contest the shot. So more I, guys trying to alter uh, layups and dunk attempts at the rim. That's the way I look at right. it. And like the response was like, you hate defense. No. You know, it's like, you don't respect players, you know, have heart who are taking a charge. Kendrick Perkins says to me, it's, you know, it's, it takes the most heart in the league to take a charge. It's like, I'm not saying it doesn't. All I'm saying is that you might see more defense instead of guys putting their hands at their balls and trying to take That's a right. charge. All right. I want I'm more to- contested layups and dunks. This is off the cuff, so I'm going to have to think about this more, and I will. I'll put some thought into it. But you're basically you're saying we just outlaw the usher pose. You yeah. can't just stand well, there and, like yeah. Like, you, you if if the guy leaves his feet, then it, right. then there can be then it's on it's you. All, no charge. Then it's on you're, you. Yes, you're the penalized one. Yes. Even if your feet well, are set, if he leaves his feet, you're the penalized one. That's and that's usually the situation around the rim, away from the rim. I mean, a guy's going oh. full court, you know, and he's not changing directions. You yeah. you put your hands there. You take the charge. That's legitimate. I, I mean, would God say. forbid. And, and God forbid. The por- I mean, under your in, in your world, though, God forbid. I mean, that Porter dunk would have been an and one. Oh, my God. I mean, just to add maybe, to the humi- <laughs> maybe to add or, to the or, humiliation or, or maybe it's an epic block. Or he, or he's able to jump straight up in the air, use the rule of verticality, uh, and Porter has to adjust midair and screws it up. That could also happen too. That's my that that's something Mark Titus has wrote, written about, talked yep. about on his pods for a long time. Um, I'm with him there, and so aren't a lot of people in the league that would like to see that change too. By the way, like we're we're always bitching about the referees doing reviews yep. and stuff. What do we review more than anything else? It's the blocker charge. I it's know. a fifty fifty call. Let's get rid of that really hard decision for the referees. Make it a little simpler. That's what I want. All to right. Say.